Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. This is Kim Greenhouse. Several weeks ago, we had the founder of the Light Energy Company on, David Osheski, and we talked a lot about the science of light. But I've invited David back to talk about single frequency light, LEDs, and lasers, and how they heal. We want to know for consumers what should you look for? What light boxes or healing products you should look for? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the founder of the Light Energy Company back to its rainmaking time, David Oshevsky. Thanks for being here. Okay, thank you, Kim. It's good to be back again. I'm sitting here in nice sunlight in Hawaii. We're jealous. And as a result, we're getting on a plane. <laughs> and we're coming <laughs> well, to stay my, at your I'm, home. <laughs> I'm my sun quota already. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about healing and light. I think some people think that other than the sun, it's hoopla, but it's not, is it? No, it's not. Sunlight is the basis of all, all life on this planet. So sunlight is extremely important, and we discussed a lot of how it worked in the body last time and, and uh, how much you need of it and the good and the bad aspects. But without sunlight, uh, things deteriorate pretty fast with the with the human body and so there are other types of light therapies that can be applied to make up for this lack of sunshine lack of light in a lot of people's lives and it's getting uh, more so there really uh, the really are um, excluded from light a lot because you're in buildings and you don't get out in the sunlight. When you do, there's clouds and rain and weather conditions. So we really don't get our quota. So people on this planet, at least in the States a lot, are getting less and less sunlight, and they're getting um, more and more uh, medical problems. So basically, uh, we really need to understand the therapy of light, what what it can do, because we can take care of ourselves a lot when we understand the nature of light, and we can take care of ourselves like we can heal ourselves. We can do a lot of things without anybody else's uh, involvement. So learning as much as you can about what effects light has is very important to the... Um, wellness of your life now and upcoming. Talk a little bit about single frequency light. What does it mean? What does it tell us? And expand on that for us. Okay. Uh, well, basically speaking, single frequency light is like a single radio station. So when you turn to station 660 on your radio dial or channel 66, what are you getting? You're getting a single frequency. And it's one of many frequencies that exist on the radio and television uh, spectrum. So uh, if we are talking about single uh, frequency light or single wavelength light, that's what we're talking about, isolating it down to a single one because it has magical uh, effects on the body. And... Um, and so that's what we're going to be talking about. But I'd kind of like to go back briefly and kind of recap for the people who are listening now that didn't listen a week ago, give them just a little backdrop of uh, what we covered before leading up to this. And the, the backdrop is really all the concerns about light that keep you healthy, that deteriorate you, then we'll lead back into the single frequency light, which is something that can specifically heal damaged tissue. So with that, if that's okay with you? Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. So the backdrop that we covered was essentially sunlight. And sunlight is made up, the best way to, to, to view sunlight is when you see a rainbow. Because when... The sunlight hits the atmosphere, it breaks it into like a prism, and breaks it into all these different colors, and those colors are wavelengths. Well, the sun consists of 1,500 of those, so there's a lot of wavelengths there. And the 
uh, each of the colors that you see also are subdivided into like red has many, many 70 different wavelengths of red in, the, in that color that you see. So sunlight really is just a conglomeration of 1,500 wavelengths. And our body needs all those wavelengths. So we stay healthy by getting the sunlight in into our body, as we discussed last week. For those who are interested, they can go back and listen to that for a lot of the detail. But essentially, that sunlight keeps us healthy. And then we moved into, well, what happens if you can't get sunlight? How can you reproduce it? And that's where we talked about full-spectrum light, which is an, a way to use fluorescent technology to reproduce as many of the wavelengths of sunlight as is technically possible. So we had an alternative. We talked a lot about full-spectrum light having mimic sunlight to keep our body healthy. And then we touched uh, briefly on, well, what is our standard lighting? And, and I think I'd like to come back to that a little bit. Uh, incandescent light, fluorescent light, halogen light. These constitute the bulk of all of our lighting, and we're exposed to it. Now, the important thing here to understand about artificial light is that if you really require sunlight, and you don't get it because you're indoors a lot, you not only uh, lose the effects of sunlight, but you are subjected to artificial light with its negative impacts, like a double whammy. It's getting hit with a left punch and a right punch. <laughs> so not only do we want to simulate, get more sunlight simulated, but we want to banish the bad light and get rid of it out of our environment. So it's very important for the people in the in the listening audience here to understand what those negative effects are of those lights so they'll feel motivated to get rid of them. The um, incandescent light, uh, because it's made of a material called tungsten inside, it produces red, orange, yellow type light. And we're all familiar with the yellow light bulb. Well, that kind of light has a detrimental effect several ways. Um, for one thing, that yellow, primary yellow light, um, causes your eyes to squint. It is, while it's a very bright color, it is one of the worst type colors on the human body. It causes our eyes to squint uh, when we uh, see it and if I just take an incandescent bulb and turn it on and off in front of you, you will watch your eyes squint, open, squint, open. So what happens is we, under uh, incandescent light, we go into eye problems. Uh, we go into glasses. We, go, uh, we put too much stress on our eyes. The second thing that that incandescent light does is that when you go to read under it, Yellow light uh, does not absorb into the paper, the usually white paper with black uh, letters on it. That kind of light doesn't absorb. It bounces off as glare. So we start reading something, and our eyes start squinting, and uh, we find the letters blur, and this is very difficult to read under. And the average person can get a full-spectrum light bulb, put it in, uh, say, in a lamp right alongside of an incandescent bulb for comparison, put in that bulb, put the same piece of paper under full-spectrum, and wow, there's no glare, there's no bounce back, the letters look like black braille, and so it's much easier to read.